everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and in today's tutorial we're going to knit this Easy Fit Ribbed Hat. It is a free download from Red Heart. It is uh, pattern number LW, let me see here, we can see, 2890 and it is a beginning level. The stitches that we need to complete this hat can be found on my channel in the playlist knitting videos. So we know we need how to cast on, how to knit, how to purl, and then we're gonna have to do the purl two, two together, knit two together. You can find all of those stitches on my channel. So here, I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Uh, you, it uses a, a medium weight yarn. It calls for the, I believe it's super, oh, it's a Red Heart with Love. And this one, it says, this is a solid color called Mango. I'm gonna be doing a different color, a little uh, taupe color. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and let's get the party started. Okay everyone, to begin the hat, we need to use a size 10 uh, knitting needles. So you just want to make sure they're long enough for um, all your stitches that you cast on will be on here. And this is long enough for mine. It's a little tight, but I can still make it work. I'm using the um, medium weight yarn. Um, and here to begin, they tell you to cast on, where are we here? Cast on 70 stitches. I do mine a little bit different, but you can just do it the same, the way that this is here, 70 stitches. I do 72 because I always do an extra one in the beginning and the end so that I could always knit that last stitch and then have a little, like the little knots that show up. It's easier for me to sew it at the end. But of course, you don't have to do that here. It says cast on 70 stitches. You're going to get your yarn, the free, the one that's at the end, and just make a, get a long enough tail that you'll be able to cast on 70 stitches. If your tail is too long, it's not a problem because you could just trim it. If it's too short, then you're not going to have enough yarn. So here I'm going to be, it's about, and once you start doing a lot of it, you'll learn about how much to, yarn to pull out. So I'm just pulling about, what, 20, how much inches is this? About 24 inches. I don't know if I'll need that much. Then you're going to make a little slip loop, just like you do when you crochet, just like so. You're going to put in your needle, one needle through that slip, slip loop there. Then I'll get a little bit closer so you could see what I'm doing. Here, so here, sorry guys, I keep bumping into the camera. So here, the end that's coming, the, the end of the yarn is going to be on the left hand side. And the yarn that's coming off of the skein is going to be on the right hand side. Then I'm going to hold, the way I do it is that I get both. This is the one that's the end and this is coming off the skein. I hold it kind of like, almost like a heart shape or a V shape, just like that. See, if you look at there, it's there. And what I do then is to cast on, there's a lot of different ways to cast on. I'm gonna get my needle, I'm gonna go under the loop that's around my thumb and then go under the loop that's here on my index finger and then bring it back into that loop and let it go. So let me see if I could do a little bit further away so you could see better. So here it is, the yarn that's the sh the end of the yarn is here. The one that's coming on the from the skein is on the right hand. So if you look at it, it kind of looks like a heart. I don't know if you could see that. So then to cast on, I'm going to go under this yarn that's on the outside of the thumb. I grab that on my needle. Then I'm going to go on under the yarn that's on the inside of the section here. Grab that yarn and then I bring it back between the yarn that's on the needle, on the thumb. So here, you're working into this, this space is here. So here I'm going into, let me see if I could open it. I'm going into this space, and now I'm going into this space, and bringing it back through that same space, just like that. So now I have the three stitches. So here, once again, one, Go over this one and then bring it back again, just like that. And there's a lot of different ways to cast on, so you're just gonna have to find a way that's comfortable for you. So let me see if I could show you that again. This yarn on this side that's coming from the skein is never grabbed. That just keeps coming down and wrapping over onto this finger. So this one you're not gonna worry about. You're gonna be working in this yarn, this yarn, and the space between the thumb. 
So here you just go grab the yarn on the outside of the thumb, grab the yarn on the inside of the index finger, on this side of the index finger near the thumb, and then once you grab that, you're going to go back in between the yarn and the thumb, and you drop that just like that. Okay? So there's a lot of different ways to do it. This is just the way I do it. So you grab it there, wrap it there, and then bring it back between the two strands on the thumb. So on the outside of the thumb, this outer part of the index finger, and then you bring it back into the space between the yarn on the thumb. So like I said, you don't have to worry about this skein. This is just bringing up the yarn from the skein, that strand. Once again, grab it here. Now grab under this stitch there and then bring it back between the space, the two strands between the thumbs, okay, that are wrapped around the thumb. So one, two, and three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that until I have the whole, all the number of stitches. I'm going to do 72, but you would need to do just 70. I'm going to show you why I add the extra two. So go ahead and cast on all your stitches. Okay, this pattern is really simple and it's a perfect beginner project. For the first row and the second row, we're just going to alternate. The first row, remember I have an extra stitch in the front and the back, but if you just do the 70 stitches, what we're going to do is you're going to purl two, the first two will be purled, and then the next two will be knitted, and you're just going to repeat that. And then on the next row, you um, do the opposite so that you can create the rib stitching, okay? So here, I'm going to be showing you mostly just showing you the continental style, um, which is on the left hand, but you already know that, um, well, I did a video for you showing you how to do the English style, which is where you hold the yarn on your right hand side and you wrap it and um, around your finger. That's just kind of very odd for me because I usually don't do that. But here to begin, then, our pattern. I have an extra, let me see if I could kind of make this into a little bowl to get it out of the extra, out of the way. So here, just like that. So maybe it won't hang too much. Once I get past the first few rows, it'll be okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and take the needle and put the yarn over my left hand because I'm going to be doing the continental, but you could do whichever style you're comfortable with. So let me see if I can get this here. So here, since I have an extra one, my pattern won't actually begin to the next, the second stitch. I always do a knit one in the front, the first stitch and in the last stitch. But like I said, that's just my personal preference. That way it gives me a little knot. It kind of builds a little knot where I could um, sew it at the end. But that's, you know, that's just my own thing. You don't have to do that. The pattern doesn't call for that. So here, we're beginning our pattern now. It tells us to purl the first two and then knit the second two. To purl, I need to bring my yarn to the front, just like so. Here. And if you were going to be... Um, knitting with the English method, then you would have the yarn on your right hand side, bring it to the front of the needles, and then you would do your work. So here, remember, once you do the continental method, I'm going to put my, to purl, I'm going to go from the right to the left, there's my first stitch, and my yarn that's coming from the skein is wrapping over the top that way. I'm going to wrap around, and then work off that stitch. That's my first purl stitch. My yarn is still to the front because my next one's also a purl. I'm going to purl the next stitch. Now I let the yarn go to the bottom because my next two are knitted. So I'm just going to go here from the right, left to the right, grab my yarn, wrap it, and throw it out. That's what I'm going to do for the next one as well. And this is going to repeat all the way across. Now I'm purling some of my yarn. I bring it to the front, stick in my stitch, wrap it, knock it off. Next one, purl two just like so, and then work that off, scoot my work up as I work. The next two will be knitted, so here, one, knit one, knit two, and then I want to show you here, hopefully, let me see if we could see it, because it's kind of dark, or at least I think it's kind of dark. So here, you'll be able to see your stitches um, when you're purling, 
your stitches make like a little line going sideways. Can you see that? I hope you could see that. And when you're knitting, it makes like a little chain. So this is my pearl. This is my knitted pearl knit. And then that way you could kind of help yourself to know where you're at. These were my last two knitted. So I'm going to purl two. One. And then two. And then I'm going to repeat my two knitted. And that's all you do for the first row. Repeat purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, all the way to the end. Oh, here, hang on a second. Let me try this again. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that all the way to the end. And then we'll come back and do the other row. And it's just the opposite of what we've done here. So here, you could see my stitches that are starting to build, be built on my um, work. The purl stitches are going horizontally like this. The knitted stitches look like little chains. So go ahead and finish all the way to the end. Since I have an extra one, my last one, I'm just going to knit. But um, you would just follow here what the instructions are. Okay, I finished row one. And now row two, we're doing opposite of we did in row one. Because row one, we knit two and then we purled, uh, knit one, two and then we purled two. Oh, excuse me, wrong side. We're up here on the hat. This is the crown. We purled two and then we knit two. So now for row two, we're going to knit two and then purl two and repeat all the way. We're going to repeat that until our piece measures 10 inches from the beginning to the ending side. Meaning that if we uh, measure from this end, we our piece needs to measure up to 10 inches long. Okay, because this hat gets rolled over, you, you fold it over to do your first... Um, your little uh, front of your forehead here. So here, since I'm doing the continental method, but if you like, you could do the uh, English. Remember, I have an extra stitch. So the first stitch and last stitch, I always knit. So just ignore that one if you guys aren't doing that. Just um, this is where our pattern would actually begin. And it tells us to knit two and then purl two. And one of the things you can do, if you're getting lost here, you can see that this first two, if you move it here, I don't know if this, the light's not that good, but you can see these are shaped like little chains. And then our next stitches, you could see that they're going like sideways, like little posts. So here, in order to keep that same ribbing effect, we need to follow this what the same uh, what the stitch is showing here. Basically, whichever way it presents is showing up. So here our instructions say to knit two and then purl two, which is right because here this is our knit. So here I'm gonna knit. I would just go in there here, get my yarn and then work off my yarn and um, if you're doing it the English method I'm sorry I didn't show you in the last row you would just wrap your yarn and then your yarn would still be coming from the bottom I would put in my my needle and then wrap around and then pull it out okay so this are knitted knit two the next two you could see are purled and that's what it's asking us to purl to so when you're purling in the English or continental method the yarn needs to be in the front of the needle so the English method, you would put it this way, wrap the yarn around, and then work off your stitch, okay? Just the same way as you do with the continental, the yarn has to be coming from the front of the needle. So that would be your second purl. Now your knit stitches, you would put the yarn back to the back. So here, you're gonna repeat that all the way to the end. So here we would knit two, the next two, one, and two and then we're going to purl see how I pull the yarn to the front the next two one and then two also with the yarn in front so now you'll be able to see the stitches even more hopefully you could see them more clearly I don't know that I don't think this is a really good lighting here let me see if I could get that closer just for you guys but the, the knitted ones have like a little chain. The purl ones are going sideways. So now here I'm going to knit two again. One. Two. Purl the next two. One. And two. And so now you're seeing more of that pattern emerging. And what this is going to do is going to make that ribbing effect. So you'll be able to see that really clearly. Let me see if you could see it there. So you can see that the ones that 
are knitted have the little chain looks like a chain and then these are pearls so they look like sideways so this pearl pie is going to be like the lower ridge and this is the little one that shows your little chain stitch when you're working so here when i come here there's two more chain chain looking stitches so i know those are two knitted one and two my next ones are pearls so i will purl two one and two and that way if you forget was I supposed to purl was I supposed to knit as long as you get your first chain your first line right you'll be okay and then these two are knitted one and that's how you would do a ribbing stitch you follow that same pattern there so there that's how it's creating the ribbing so this is you're going to uh, repeat that all the way around all the way to the end so then my next two are purl two the knit two purl two knit two purl all the way to the end when I get to the end I have an extra stitch so I always knit my last stitch um, but this is what you're going to do the knit two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two all the way to the end I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then we'll come back um, and work on the crowning remember when I, I'm going to come back but I have to um, excuse me that was supposed to be knitted not a purl let me redo that take that off and this was supposed to be a knitted knit, not a purl so here, see what happens when you're talking. So here, I'm going to go ahead and finish this row, and I will continue working on this same alternating rows, rows one and two. We're just going to be alternating, right, until my piece measures 10 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll come back when the piece is 10 inches long. You'll work on your piece until it's 10 inches long. Remember, you're just going to alternate rows one and two. And so if you get lost, when you come to this side, you'll say, oh, I don't remember. Just look at your stitches. This is purl, that one's a knitted. This one's purl, that one's a knitted. Just look at the, the way they're presenting themselves or the way they come up. You'll be able to see that. See how these look like little chains? So you know these two are, this is a stitch, knitted, knitted, and then this is gonna purl, purl. Knit, knit, purl, purl. Just follow the same stitching. And that's, you're gonna be just alternating row one and two. So I'll be back and then we'll finish, start working on the crown of the hat. Okay, as you can see now then, my work now measures the 10 inches that we need from the beginning to the top here. So now we're ready to begin doing some of our new stitches. So here now, in our pattern, we've already done the, repeated the row one and two until our piece measures 10 inches from the beginning. So now we're here on the shape the crown. So row, uh, row one, we're gonna knit two together and then purl two together. Is we're gonna knit two and then after that we purl two together so there's a decrease in each stitch and we're going to repeat that all the way around when we finish we'll have 53 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and do that first row so here we are and so here now let's see if we can get here I'm going to go ahead and start here remember um, how I had that extra stitch that's not what the pattern calls for but I always have that extra stitch so now here it's called asking us to knit two so here remember how I told you you could tell what the stitch is by the way it looks when it shows it's it presents itself you can see the little chains here so now here I'm gonna go ahead and knit these two there's one and two okay so we have our first two stitches done of our rope hang on a second this didn't come out there right two and so here now the next thing is telling us to purl two together so we're going to do a decrease so it's not a problem we go ahead and bring the yarn to the front i'm going to go through both of my stitches here just like that and the yarn is here i'm going to yarn over and then get my stitch pull it over and i'm going to go ahead and i just did a decrease i knitted two of those together you're going to repeat that all the way in the end if you get lost remember you'll know which ones you're at because the knits look like little chains and the pearls look like little stitches going sideways so here i'm going to continue that all the way around all the way out until i finish my row i'm going to knit two and now here i'm going to purl these two next two together so just like that continue all the way to the end we're knitting one two and then you purl these two okay so I'm going to show you a couple of stitches 
do we knit the English style? I always knit the continental. So the English style, remember, our yarn would then be on our right hand. Usually wrap it around my pinky, like so, if I could get this here. The tripod's in front of me. And so if you're gonna do this the English style, remember the knit, the yarn is coming from the bottom. You're still the same, same way. You're gonna knit two, so here's one, and then two. Wrap the yarn over. If you're going to purl, remember we need to bring the yarn to the front, just like our other stitches. So here I'm going to purl these two together. Wrap the yarn around. And then go ahead and take them off our needles. And so you could see why I really like doing the continental method. I think it's faster. So here you would knit, wrap that around. And you're going to knit the next one just like so. When we purl, we bring our yarn to the front. Go ahead and put those two there, those two next stitches, they're purls. When we wrap our yarn around, wrap it up, there's the yarn coming off, and we pull out those stitches. Same thing as when we're doing the continental. So we're doing a decrease on our purl stitches in this row. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing my row all the way across and then see when I purl I bring the yarn to the front go through those first those two stitches my two purl stitches wrap it around slip it off just like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my row then we'll come back and do our next row this is shaping the crown of our hat so go ahead and continue till you get to the end Okay, I'm coming to the end, so that's my last knit two. And remember how I always have an extra stitch, so here my last one's gonna be a purl, but you don't have to do that extra one. I just was taught that way, so the pattern doesn't call for that. So that is the first row of shaping our crown. Okay, now we're gonna do row two, which is the wrong side of the work. We're, this time we're gonna purl two and then knit one and repeat that all the way across. Uh, remember that we can see that, see how these these are purl stitches because we could see it going backwards and these are knitted because we see the little chain. So here I'm going to be doing mine in a continental stitch but you can do it the English method if you like. So here I'm just going to go ahead and get that first one out and now here it tells me to purl two together. I have to have my, my uh, yarn in front. To purl them together we're just going to go remember instead of going this way we're going to go this way one Oops, see so I could get this last stitch here. It's a little bit tight. Okay, guys. I'm just going to let go of the <laughs> tripod here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap around there, go through both of them, and work them off. And now here, we've purled those two together, and now they want us to knit one. Remember, this knit one is the, the decrease from the previous row. So here we're just going to knit it just like that. That was our previous decrease. And now we're going to purl these two together. So I'm going to go through the side here. I'm having trouble here because I'm trying to hold the camera. So we have the two loops there. Wrap around. Go ahead and work them off. And now this one is going to be a knit one because it's the decrease from the row before. Just like that. And remember, if you're going to purl with the English, if you're going to knit with the English method, the yarn will then be on your uh, right hand side. So if I was doing the um, English method, you guys already know how to, I've demonstrated that before, but I would have the yarn wrap it around my pinky. And this is a purl, so I still, even though it's the English method, I'm going to be uh, using my finger to wrap, I still have to bring it to the front, just like so. And then I guess, see how I'm not used to it? I'm still trying to hold it with the, uh, with my right, with my left hand. So here, just like so, you would bring in your stitch. See how the yarn is in front? So here's the first purl, and then our second purl. I'm trying to do all this, it's really awkward for me. So just like so, and then you're gonna wrap around your needles, I'm trying to really exaggerate the movement so you could see it. You pull it out, 
and that will be done. Now for your knit, the yarn has to be coming from below. So you would put in your yarn, just your needle just like that, wrap it around, and then work the yarn off the needle to purl. Bring back the yarn to the front, go to the both, to both one and two, because we're pulling both of those together. Need to get closer to the edge there. And then you're gonna wrap around just like you did before, push it out. And you will continue your entire row just like that. Okay, I'm gonna finish my row, but I'm gonna do it in the way that I'm really comfortable with here. And that would be just doing it in the continental. So here is my next uh, knitted stitch. And then I'm gonna purl two, just like I have before, just like that. Wrap around, get off that one, knit one. That's all you repeat the whole thing all the way across. There's two loops there, my two pearls. Wrap it, go off, slide it off your needle. And then my next my next pro knit one is actually the decrease from the row before. So you're just gonna repeat this. It's just doing the opposite of what we did the row before. And um, I'm gonna repeat that till I get all the way to the end. And this is how we're gonna be shaping the crown. So here, what we're doing is that we're reducing our stitches because you don't want this to be uh, obviously at the top of your head. You don't want it to be as wide as it is on the um, or across your forehead. So go ahead and continue that all the way around. Then we'll come back and we'll repeat row, um, row three. Okay, now we're gonna do row three. We're gonna knit two and then we're gonna purl one. We're gonna repeat that to the last t two stitches and then in the last two stitches you're gonna knit, you're gonna do a knit in each of the last two. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you with uh, the uh, continental uh, st uh, style because you you guys already know well, I've demonstrated how to do the English and it really slows me down trying to be doing that. So here we're gonna do, remember that I have an extra stitch there, one, so now here I'm going to knit two because remember I have an extra stitch. So here's one and two. And now after we knit, knit two, we're going to purl one here. Okay, and now we're going to knit two. One, two, and then we're going to purl, bring it up to the front. Knit two, one, two. And it is going to, um, you're going to be ch shaping differently because now we're not following just the, what it was previously appearing. See how they're kind of changing the style. So that was our purl. Now we're going to knit two, one, and two. Purl one. One. Knit two, one, two. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Now knit, now purl one. Once again, hit one. Ooh, let me get here closer to the edge. And two. And then we're gonna purl one. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that all the way across. You're gonna knit two, and then you're gonna purl one all the way to the end. When I get to the end, my last two are gonna be a knit stitch. Okay, I've come to my last two stitches, and my last two stitches are going to be knitted. So here's one and two. So that's the end of row three. And now here, it's telling us to repeat row two. Remember re uh, row two, we purl two, and then we knit it uh, one. And we're going to do that to the last, uh, last two stitches, and we're going to purl. The last two, two stitches are going to be two purls. So here... Then I'm going to repeat for row four, I'm repeating row two, which is, so here I'm gonna go ahead and purl my first two, bring my yarn to the front, go in there, and this is my first one. Remember, your first stitch is always kinda loose, so don't worry too much about that. And then purl my next one. So that was purl two. And now we're gonna knit one, okay? So the next one is knitted. You're gonna repeat that all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, then you're going to, um, your last two stitches on this, the previous row, 
were um, knitted so on this row they're going to be uh, purled so go ahead and do that one all the way to the end okay so that's all we do and when we get to the last stitch the last two stitches they will be purled so here then we're going to do purl two knit one all the way to the end the last two stitches here will be purled okay I'm coming to the end of my row so here's knit one my last two stitches I have to purl so here's one and then two okay so now for our next row and it's kind of funny because it just says next row <laughs> which would be row five I guess you're gonna knit two together and then you're gonna purl one and you're gonna repeat that all the way to the end the last two stitches you're going to knit so here I'm going to turn this over, then it tells us to knit two together, and then we're going to purl. So here, I'm just going to have my yarn through the bottom, go to my last, my first two stitches here, and I'm going to knit it, knit those two, and so there, we got that off. And all this is doing is doing decreases, and then we're going to purl one. So here, we're just going to purl. Okay, if you guys want to do the continental, st the uh, English style that you would hold your yarn in your, uh, in your right hand. Here we're going to knit two, and then we're going to purl the next one. See how I always switch the yarn from the front to the back. Knit two. Okay, here if I can get it. My needles keep bumping into the, the tripod, so it keeps knocking them out of... Can you hear that tapping? That's the tripod. Maybe I need to get a different tripod that sits on the table. So one, and then I'm going to purl one. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way to the end. So you're going to purl two, knit one, and then you're going to, um, excuse me, knit two, and then together, and then knit one. Ah, oh, excuse me. Ugh. This should be on the uh, bloopers. You're going to knit two tr together, and then we're going to purl the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way to the end. Our last two stitches here, we're going to knit those. So here, I'm going to go ahead and continue uh, finishing. That was just my last purl. I'm going to knit two together, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, when I turn off the camera, I can put this and hold it normally without it being in front of the tripod, which is what's causing a big problem because I keep hitting the needles. Can you hear every time I try to move, it's just not really working at this angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my row and we'll come back and work on the next row. Okay, I'm coming to my last two stitches, which are a knit. So you're going to knit in the last two stitches. Okay, so now we're moving to our next row. And our next row says, I don't know why they put next row. They should just put, you know, row, whatever it is, six, seven, eight. So here we're going to do the opposite. We're going to purl two. And then after that, we're going to knit one and then purl one. Okay. So the first one, we're going to pur uh, purl these two first two. So I'm going to put them to the front here. So here is my first purl one. Okay. Oops. I'm going to try to figure out a way to do this without the tripod being there because it, um, I could put it further out, but then I, my, my arms are not long enough to reach. So here I'm going to purl two. Now I'm going to knit one. My next one I'm going to knit. And now I'm going to purl. Okay. Just like that. And then it tells us to repeat from the asterisk to the asterisk. So that means we're going to knit one and purl one. So here. You're just going to, oops, here. We're going to do knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way across. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that just like this. The first one we did two purls. Now we did one knit, one purl, and now we're going to do, excuse me, oh, I forgot I have an extra one here, so I have to do one purl. So here. So now I'm just going to do knit one, purl one knit one pro one all the way across okay so there's just um, no increases or decreases in this row just doing it one by one 
and I could tell which um, stitch I'm on because I could see which are going across. So just like that. Oops, there's a little bit of stuck there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this all the way across and hopefully I could try to figure out how to move the tripod so that I can actually um, be knitting in a natural position instead of this awkward um, position. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this out and then we'll come back and do our next row. Okay, I finished my last stitch so I'm going to turn around and then our next row it just says to knit two together and we're going to repeat that all the way to the end of the row. So all of these are going to just be knitted too. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to find a way to uh, fix the tripod. I'm going to have to ask my husband if he knows how to set it. So we're going to knit two together just like so and you're going to repeat that all the way across. Two together all the way across. I think if I get a little bit further from the tripod it might help. But then I'm not sure my long it's kind of weird because my arms aren't long enough. I'm having to like knit this really weird angle just so that I could avoid hitting the tripod because every time I hit the tripod it knocks the stitches off and it moves the camera so so here you're just gonna do repeat this knit two together I'm gonna have to ask Jen how she does that all the way across two together two together no no other changes you're just decreasing all the way across with your two stitches and I hope I have enough yarn because it looks like I might be running out of yarn guys uh oh so here, hopefully I'll have enough. So all of these are just going to be knitted two together all the way across. Nothing changes, just that all the way across. Okay, our next roll, we're just going to purl in every stitch. So we're going to match these little purl, the little knitted stitches on the other side. So here I'm going to bring my yarn to the front like so and you're going to uh, knit it whichever style you choose so here I'm just coming to the front and I'm going to purl every stitch across so there's no changes here uh, just keep the yarn in front purl every stitch across easy peasy so we're going to continue all the way across and I'll go slowly for you guys. Just like so, all the way. Then, oops, that needle got caught a little bit. This is our second to the last row. One more row and we're done, yay! I know, I love how knitting looks, but it does take so much longer than crochet. So that's one of the things I really like about crochet is that you can, uh, it seems like it, you finish a lot faster plus it's easier like to pick up drop stitches and do circles and you need to do all the different needles just to uh, double ended needles to do your circles so here's my last purl stitch just like that so we're just gonna have very few little stitches there let me see here one and so here our last um, row this is the last row see how you have just been making it all these rows have been shaping too because look at this is a lot wider here so we're just making it smaller for the top of our head the crown and then our last row all you're going to do is you're going to purl two excuse me knit two together all the way across we're going to leave a long tail so that we could sew our ends and to weave that little um we're not going to cast off in um we're not going to cast off in the last row. We're just going to leave these open and then um, put our needle through. So here I'm just going to be knitting two together all the way across. There's one and then my next ones. And then this row that's going to be left on our, our um, these stitches that are going to be left in our, um, uh oh, I dropped a stitch, that are going to be left here on our needle. I will use those for, um, uh, excuse me for gathering so let me pick up the stitch okay I'm gonna use a needle here let me go ahead and pick up the stitch and then I'll come back once I pick it up and then we'll continue
Okay, I finished working all my knit decreases and you should have nine stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think the camera shut off. So I finished my last row. I have my nine stitches. You need to cut off, cut a, a tail, leave a tail. I did mine like double the height, a little bit over double the height because I'm going to have to sew these sides together. For this, I'm not going to bind off here. It asks you to to weave the yarn through the remaining stitches. So I'm going to put them through a tapestry needle just like so. I'm going to go here and I'm going to just put them, just weave them there, meaning that I'm grabbing them there. So my needle, my yarn is going to catch every stitch because I, if I don't catch those, it's not, it hasn't been bound off so it will uh, come apart. So here, just go ahead and put your needle, see how I'm just doing it, catching all my stitches there. My last one. I'm going to put the yarn up there to make sure it's all in each one. Yep. One, two. Okay, so now I have it through all my stitches, so now I could remove my needle. So I'm going to do it one by one because I have before not had them. See that goes through there, the stitch is there. Okay, let's see if I could get a little bit closer so you could see what I'm doing. So the, need the needle, the yarn went through the all my stitches. So this is how this is going to be on top. You see the little ribs there that form. So here, then, this is the wrong side. This is the right side. You could just look at it. They both look pretty good. I mean, they're both the same stitching, really. So now, all you need to do is, once you tighten this, you're going to go ahead and sew your sides of your beanie. I know it looks really skinny, but it really stretches out, guys. So I know it looks kind of skinny and it looks like, what is that? But look, it will stretch and your head should fit in there okay. It's pretty much like, it's a, uh, it's a fitted hat is not loose and so here once I do that and this is our circle if you want to um, I'm going to make sure that I match these up and then I'm just going to sew my hat together on my both of the front and that's why I like doing that extra stitch because it gives me that little knot there uh oh I don't want to get a okay, area there Make sure that's nice and tight, and then let me see if I could, if I'm gonna let me see if I could bring the cam the light here because it's not really showing you what I'm doing here. So basically, you're gonna sew it just like you do. Um, see how this is the stitch there? This one matches there, and I'm gonna catch the back. I'm gonna catch the front, and just continue stitching all the way around. I'm using a whip stitch, see? So I'm getting my first and last stitches there. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't know I wasn't in the camera. So here, the next stitch there. See how this is the same there? So I'm getting this first stitch back here and my first stitch there. Just all the way to the bottom. And I'm doing the whip stitch. I'm not going in and out because I want to catch these stitches. You can sew whichever way you prefer. But the way I'm doing it, it's nice and even, just like so. So now it's already closing that off. And if you could see the inside, that's what it's looking like. See? It's closing it off. It's See that little beginning and then our ribbing starts there. So that's all you do. Grab it. Don't stretch it when you're sewing it. Just sew it evenly. Making sure you grab the back and you grab the front, okay? You don't want to have holes in there. I'm just grabbing my stitches. Just like that, okay? And I want to make sure it's even. If you want to put a pin, you can. But you can kind of hold it with your hands. Just like that. Let me see if I could put this closer so you could see it's not really... I'm getting the back and the front. Get the back and the front. 
stitches those little knots that started our last and our first and our last stitch just like so so I don't want to bore you guys just want to show you how I sew it all the way so I'm going to continue that same way sewing it all the way until I get to the bottom here and then I'll attach these and weave in my tails it does look like this don't worry I know when I first saw they see them you'd look like well they're kind of weird but it does stretch out so this is our taupe one and then you when you see the seam if you do it correctly see when I get the front and the back you have one ribbing here another ribbing and then you have your pearl side there so you'll still have that pattern there can you see that so I'm going to go ahead and finish it I'll come back and show you when it's all done okay everyone the hat is done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'd really like to see how it would stretch out and um, fit your head so it just does that you just fold it over like that like in the photo um, this is a smaller head but you know it is big enough um, for an adult that's what it looks like anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so be sure to hit the like button share um, the video with your friends and family on uh, Google Plus and Facebook and that way you help me grow my channel I hope you enjoyed it please have a great day and remember always that God loves you